with a heavy heart we have to today strongly condemn this cold blooded murder of democracy that is taking place in west bengal during the course of this local body elections already 34% of the seats no opposition candidate was allowed to file the nomination the supreme court has come out strongly against this and has directed that the announcement of these uncontested seats will not be made till jo july 3 june 3 july 3 when the case will be continued in the courts in the meanwhile the high court had issued an order asking upon the state government and all the officers and the personnel associated with the conduct of the polls to ensure a peaceful and a fair poll and any officer found not to comply with this direction should be acted upon and the victims of violence must be compensated adequately this was the high court direction but despite all this today what we see is continued violence and we have circulated to you a very gruesome photograph of a couple who resisted the pressure who resisted the pressure and their bodies were were actually burned not the house in which they were there the bodies were burnt and this is the sort of democracy that we are seeing under the trinamool congress rule in bengal this is what we have been saying earlier the reign of terror and politics of violence it is through that that this sort of a situation is being created where there is a total mockery of elections absolute absolute cold blooded murder of the democratic processes and this is continuing and we think this process will continue even in these elections the polling is on now even in these elections where the polling has been made possible in some places due to popular resistance the one positive feature in this entire thing is people have begun to resist this sort of a reign of terror that has been unleashed in bengal and this resistance is allowing polling to take place in some places but in those places of the tmc loses then the pressures on and attacks on the winning candidates will be mounted so the first first stage was not to allow people to file nomination the second stage was that while people who have filed nomination managed to file nominations unprecedented move the judiciary said that online nominations must be accepted has never happened before and is very very unprecedented because of the situation and the ground realities where nominations were filed attacks on them saying that they should withdraw where they are not withdrawn these sort of uh, incidents are taking have taken place the third stage would be when if they lose trinamool in some places the winning candidates will be targeted either they shift their allegiance to the tmc or physically eliminated this is nothing else but a complete a complete destruction of our democratic process and the free and fair elections in bengal so the cpi am strongly not only condemns this at this very moment when this press conference is going on there is a big protest rally that is taking place in the city of kolkata and the election commission state election commission has virtually gone underground there is no observer that is willing to be contacted the election commissioner refuses to give time to any of the uh, uh, other political parties he is just not available only faxes and emails reach his office but there is no response so none of the other political parties involved in these elections are even heard by the authority that has the that has the constitutional mandate to conduct these elections so we have 
strongly condemn this and we have called upon all our units all across the country to organize protests against this cold-blooded murder of democracy in Bengal. These protest actions will take place like it's happening in Kolkata right now, not only in Bengal, but all over the country. We will be organizing these pro protest actions and we'll see what the, how the judiciary is going to react for the brazen violation of their own directions. And I think this is also ominous that while this murder of democracy is taking place, the power has been cut off in the CPM office. <laughs> so this is uh, what we wanted to uh, brief you about today.